G'day, how you going? Nick here again, Softwash Australia. We've just put together a very simple 900 by 900, by about 850 high, a little skid um, a 12 volt unit. It's a 150 litre batch system down to a three way ball valve and simply through to a six gallon a minute versa jet. So it's the slightly bigger unit. It's uh, up there around about the 27, 28 litres a minute, and they're at a 70 psi. We've got the big 100 amp hour deep cycle battery in there as well. And we've set up a simple little breaker unit here that just allows us to switch that on and off really simply. Uh, it's tucked away, it's out of harm's way and out of the water as well, uh, but really quite solid state. So uh, it's going to last and it's not uh, going to get too knocked about by fingers that might have a bit of sodium hypochloride on them, etc., which are some of the issues. Just thought we'd run through and give you a bit of a look at what it'll do. Now, if I turn the unit on, all I've got to do is just flick that switch on, and we've got the pump on, and we've got it here, and we've got it primed already. So to give you a bit of an idea of what it's going to run like, is that's our uh, application, which is, you know, your standard 12-volt throw, and if we just shoot that out there, we're probably throwing something like about seven or eight metres. Um, and that is sort of what we could expect from most 12 volt systems. So that we know about. We've also got the J-Rod, which allows us to go down to say a fan pattern. And the fan pattern gives us a nice little roof application. We've skinnied the, the valve down on the 15 degree to a 1515. And that's just giving us a really nice, and we're not going to chew through the juice, and it means we won't get a lot of back run as well when we're actually painting the roof in with our roof uh, solution. But we'll just go back to our, uh, our normal uh, 30 tip. That's what we can expect on our throw. Now the interesting thing that we found is that I've just hooked this to the, mount, uh, the town mains here, and if I switch that over and actually turn the pump off just for a second, and give you a bit of a look at what that looks like. That's about, we're throwing that probably, you know, uh, four metres, something like that. So, but if I just happen to turn the pump on, and normally the diaphragm pumps won't allow it to assist. Uh, in this case, that's exactly what's happening. Your fence here, the pump's just found PSI straight away. And now when I hit that, we're actually throwing that now more like eight or nine metres. And that's actually running constantly and simply off the town mains. So for all intents and purposes, we found ourselves a little DC booster pump just by the virtue of what we've got here. We haven't choked that down and we haven't put a restrictor in line. Uh, so we have got some theory about putting some restriction in there on flow and pressure. And it'll be interesting to see what happens on a case by case or house by house basis. But what we found here, just under our normal circumstances, We've actually got a 12 volt acting like a mini booster. Pretty happy with it. If you've got more questions about this, this sort of system, we've got the big 18 inch stainless steel hose reel on here, purely because I run out of 12 inches uh, and we needed to get the unit done. Uh, we've set it up so that it sits up nice and high and gives us access over the side of the ute when we want to uh, work out of a tub style or thereabouts. It means we don't have to crank right down in low. It can sit sidewards and we can crank over the side of the tub. Um, so anyway, good little unit, pretty happy with the way it's come up. If you're interested in something like this, contact me at Softwash Australia, 0400 210 646. Anyway, have a great weekend. Happy Friday, folks.